Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 10, lesson 5, volume of composite solids. After this lesson, you need to be able to find the volume of a composite figure by decomposing it into cubes, cones, cylinders, and spheres, and using the known volume formulas for these figures. Let's learn. Composite solids. Composite solids are objects that are composed of multiple three-dimensional solids. We can see there are four examples here. So this one here has some cylinders at the end and a prism in the middle. We have another one that has a cylinder in the middle and on the top and the bottom has a cone. We have one that looks like an ice cream cone shape. We have a half of a sphere, a hemisphere, and a cone. These ones are super common, trying to find the volume of an ice cream cone. And we have one here where it's a cylinder and a sphere, or really a hemisphere sitting on top. To find the volume of these composite solids, we're going to decompose the object, or break it apart, into solids whose volumes that we know how to find. So given this picture here, we have a cone on top of a cylinder. We know how to find the volume of a cone. We know how to find the volume of a cylinder. So to find the volume of this object, we would just find the volume of each of its parts and then add them together. So the cone has a radius of 12 and a height of 14. We can use our volume formula for a cone, plugging in 12 for the radius, 14 for the height, calculating out 627 pi would be our volume. For the cylinder, we have a radius still of 12, but this time the height is eight for that cylinder. Substituting in our values, we can see volume of our cylinder would be 1,152 pi. Notice we did not multiply it out yet. With these composite solids, leave it in terms of pi first. Then if you need to figure out the approximate value using 3.14, do that at the end. So to find the volume of this overall shape, we would just add these two things together. So 672 pi plus 1,152 pi, that would equal 1,824 pi. If we wanted to find it a more approximate value, we could multiply it now by 3.14 or use that pi button, and we would get a decimal answer. But just like we were figuring out when we were doing the individual solids, read the question to find out which one it asks for. The pi symbol is the exact value, decimal is approximate. Example one, find the volume of composite solids. Find the volume of the solid, round to the nearest tenth. So let's find the volume of each solid. Here we have a cylinder that's sitting on top of a cone. So let's find the volume of each. For our cylinder, my radius is half of that, so my radius is four, and my height is also four. So plugging in four for the radius, four for the height, calculating it out, 64 pi is my volume. Again, just leave it in terms of pi for now. For my cone, if the radius of the cylinder was four, the cone would be the same on the other side, it's still four. My height is telling me that it is five feet. Plugging those in for the radius and the height, calculating it out, 80 pi over 3. Next, add those two things together. So 64 pi plus 80 thirds pi. That gives us 272 thirds pi. To get that, we need to change 64 into 192 thirds. Then we can add with our common denominator. We could leave it as this if we want the exact answer or use the pi button and multiply it out, that would be about 248.8 cubic feet if we round that off. And it did say we need to round to the nearest tenth, so this one is the answer we would need to go with. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and use the picture to find the volume of this solid. Pause the video now and complete this check. Check your answer. You should have found that the volume here was about 2,354 cubic meters. First, we have two objects here. We have a rectangular prism and we have a cylinder. Notice the size of this rectangular prism on the top is the same as the one on the bottom. They're both five tall, they're both 20 wide, and they're both eight deep. So if we find the volume of one of these prisms, then just double that since we have two. So a prism is just length times width times height, and we have two of them. So we can just figure this out, 20 times eight 
times 5. 20 times 5 is 100. 100 times 8 is 800. And there are two of them. So 1600 is the top one and the bottom one. For the cylinder, we need to do pi r squared times the height. So the height is 15. For our radius, it's showing the line across is 8, so we want halfway of 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 15 is 240. And we still have that pi symbol. Now I want to find my total volume, so I'm going to add those two together. This one is the only thing that has a pi symbol, so let's just multiply that out right now. 240 times pi is 753.98. So let's just round that right now to the whole meter, so 754, plus 1600, and that gives you 2,354, which is what they got. Example 2. Find volume of composite solids. Tamaya uses cube-shaped beads to make jewelry. Each bead has a circular hole through the middle. Find the volume of each bead round to the nearest tenth. So unlike the first example where we had multiple solids and we were adding them together, sometimes, as in this case, we might have to remove one of our solids from the other to figure out what is left. So this is a square bead. It appears there's a cylinder here, but the cylinder was removed from the cube to make a hole through the middle. So to find this, we could find our cube and then take away the cylinder. So the cube is just side times side times side, or side to the third power. 12 to the third power is 1,728. For the cylinder, the radius is half of the diameter, so 1. Our height still goes through the middle. It's still 12. Since the cube was 12 tall, the cylinder must be 12 tall. Substituting those in, 1 squared is 1 times 12 gives us a volume of 12 pi. Then to find the volume of the overall object, we need to remove the cylinder from the cube. So 1,728 minus 12 pi. This rounds off to about 37.7. So subtracting those, I would get about 1,690.3. So this volume, cube minus cylinder, is about 1,690.3 cubic millimeters. Check your understanding. Find the volume of this solid. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found 340.3 cubic centimeters. So to find this, we're going to combine the two shapes. We're going to add them. Our radius here is 5. We need half of that. So for the cone, 1 third times 5 squared times the height is 4. So 25 times 4 is 100. One third of that I would just divide by 3 with my pi. So I forgot to write that up here. Pi. Don't forget that. For the cylinder, pi times radius squared times the height. Same radius. This time the height is 3. So 5 squared is 25 times 3 is 75 with my pi. Adding those two things together to find my overall volume. This is the same as 225 over 3. So together, 325 over 3 times pi. Now that it's combined, let's use my calculator. That does come out to be 340.33. So rounding to the nearest tenth, we could just round that part off. 340.3. Units are centimeters cubed. Example 3. Find volume of composite solids. Suppose a company is making a solid trophy in the shape shown. Find the total amount of metal used to make the trophy by finding its volume. Round to the nearest tenth. So again, first let's find the volume of each solid. And this one is two of them being combined together, so we will add them at the end. We have a sphere and we have a cylinder. For a sphere, 4 thirds pi r to the third power. So our radius here is 3. Let's replace the radius with 3. 3 to the third power is 27 
times 4 thirds is 36. So with the pi symbol, 36 pi is the volume of that sphere. For the cylinder, our radius is also 3, and our height of our base cylinder here is 1.5. So 3 squared is 9. 9 times 1.5 is 13.5, again with the pi symbol. Now that we have the volume of each part, let's add them together. 36 pi plus 13.5 pi is 49.5 pi, but it does say round to the nearest tenth, so we do need to use a calculator and calculate this out. 49.5 times the pi button. Rounding that off, we would have about 155.5 inches to the third power, or cubic inches. Check your understanding. Find the volume of this solid. Round to the nearest tenth. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said 153.9 cubic centimeters, or you could have done centimeters to the third power. Here we have a cone, and we have half of a sphere, so a hemisphere. For the cone, one third pi times our diameter is 7, so our radius, half of that would just be 3.5. If you use 7 for the radius, look at what is drawn. The line goes all the way across. Be careful. Now times our height, 5. We'll calculate this out in a minute, but we're going to end up adding that to our hemisphere, so 2 thirds instead of 4 thirds. Pi, again, our radius is 3.5. Now to the third power. Let's use a calculator to get these, at least in terms of pi. Then we'll add them together and finish out with our calculator. So 3.5 squared times 5 is 61.25. Still need to do one third of that, so divide by 3 pi. 3.5 to the third power is 42.875. I'm not going to round off yet until I get to the end. Times two thirds. So let's multiply by that by 2, and then we'll just do it over 3. So this times 2 is 85.75. So 85.75 over 3 pi. Now let's add these together. They're already both over 3s, so we can just add the numerators since we have a common denominator. This 0.25 adds perfectly with this 0.75, so... I'm going to take that off here and combine it and make this 86. 61 plus 86 is 147 over 3 with a pi. Now I'm going to use my calculator again to figure out what this is approximately equal to, which is 153.93. And since we want to round to the nearest tenth, this 3 would be closer to 0, so we're not going to round up. 153.9. Adding our units centimeters to the third power, or cubic centimeters.